Thank you for being with me. <laughs> I can see. I, I, can you see that snow behind me? If you hear a crash, it'll be me sitting on this, this little stool that I'm sitting on. You'd say, that's not going to take your weight. Crash! <laughs> could be falling. But I want you to see, see, see that snow, how pure it looks. You see the tree behind and the white snow on top of the branches. I always think that's beautiful when you see the branches, the top of the branches and the white snow just coating it. You see the, the sculpture of the tree and you see the snow on the, on the evergreens back there. And it's just beautiful and it just reminds me of how wonderful God is in creating a beautiful world for us to see and how wonderful you are made by God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You can make it through this day. There is a way. There is a God who made you. He is the one who sustains you. And as long as he gives you breath on this earth living, he gives you a way to live, a right way. Seek for that way and you'll find that way. And the ultimate way is to believe in him and have a relationship with him. Because all of us have a problem of sin. And that sin needs to be forgiven. And the only way it can be forgiven by us having faith in the one who created us, who died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins and rose from the dead to forgive our sins and to give us his righteousness that we need to be forgiven of our sins and receive eternal life with him now and forever. And, uh, you know, been studying uh, Moses, talking about... Uh, how Jesus called himself the I am and and uh, that's that's calling himself God who he is and and then talking about the story in Exodus of Moses and how God spoke to Moses saying uh, his name to Moses I am and that God that was speaking to Moses was Jesus the Son of God Be, and that's the Jesus that was uh, from eternity, that is eternal, that came to this earth to be born as a baby Jesus. And, uh, and before even Moses, the man Abraham, God spoke to. And we see through the Old Testament how God worked to bring us a Savior, to save us from the penalty of sin, which is eternal separation from God, to save us from that penalty of death by giving us forgiveness of our sins through Christ Jesus. And, and Jesus came through the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, and through the Hebrew people, which uh, Moses was part of. And we can see how God worked through Moses and Abraham to preserve the nation of Israel from which the Savior Jesus would be born into born from rather <laughs> uh, so there's a lot there and uh but it show it just shows how god is is in control and working and this this snow i always like to sing this song jesus paid it all it comes uh these scriptures i want to share from the old testament all right to tell us how jesus uh, came uh, his lineage where he came from and how God was working to, to preserve the people, the lineage of, of, of Jesus from not being destroyed by the enemy, by the evil, by de the devil. And, uh, and God succeeded in bringing his son into this world through the lineage of uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, through the, the Israel people. And uh, so here's from the Old Testament. Uh, one of those Hebrews that God worked, inspired, it was Isaiah, prophet Isaiah, that uh, said this, Come now, this is in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, Come now, let us, us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, crimson they shall become like wool. And that's referring to the washing away of our sins by the blood of Jesus Christ, his death on the cross and resurrection, our faith in him. Uh, 
washes our sins away. God takes our sin away, makes us clean, as white as snow. And this is uh, this verse also from God's Word, the New Testament, from the book of Titus. God says to us, chapter 3, uh, beginning at verse 4, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us. When Jesus appeared, when He came out of eternity to be born as Jesus and die on that cross and rise from the dead as Jesus. God, the Son of God, He was both the Son of God and God. He appeared in history. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of works done by, by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through faith, through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified, that is declared righteous, declared not guilty by God, so that being justified by his grace is a, a free gift from God. We couldn't earn this this forgiveness. So that being justified by His grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. That we may have forgiveness of our sins and eternal life with God now and forever. He wants a relationship with us to, through everything so that we can rejoice and not worry, but go through everything with Him and be loved by Him and love Him. And this, uh, if I don't shut up, <laughs> I'm not going to get to any of this song, okay? So, Jesus paid it all. You can't pay any more than your, give any more than your life to save one, someone. And that's what Jesus did. It's God. As I've been trying to show that God came out of heaven. That God is Jesus who came out of heaven to be born as the baby Jesus from the lineage of, of the Hebrew people, the Israelite people, as God had foretold in the Old Testament scriptures, I was bringing my, I was bring, I was coming into this world to be the Savior, Emmanuel, God with us. That's what Jesus is, and He came to this world so that He could bear, take our sins upon His body, and pay the penalty for our sin, take the wrath of God for our sin. Uh, die in our place, be the substitute for our death. He died in our place so that we could have faith in his work of doing this. And when he rose from the dead, that we'd be given his righteousness and forgiveness of all of our sins and wash clean as snow and not worry and not feel guilty. But serve him always because he's called us to serve him. He's got a plan for all of us. Rescue those who are stumbling to the slaughter. That's one thing. Help people to have hope. When you do, you you receive hope also, and you help other people to have hope. I'm going to read it, let's see, this was written by Alvina M. Hall and John T. T. Grape, all right? In the third and fourth verse. For nothing good have I, whereby thy grace to claim. I'll wash my garments white, in the blood of Calvary's Lamb. That's Jesus. On Calvary, the place of the skull was called Calvary. That's where Jesus was crucified. He's the Lamb of God, pure, sinless, that was crucified. For the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He, Jesus, Jesus, He washed it white as snow. I'm looking at that snow behind me. You say, I'm looking at your hair, it's snow white. 
Oh, it's, come on, that's great. Thank you, Jesus, for dying in our place on a cross, rising from the dead to give us life with you now, forgiveness of sins, eternal life with you. Someday we'll see you face to face, Jesus, because of your mercy and grace for us. And when before the throne I stand in Him complete, Jesus died my soul to save, my lips shall still repeat. Jesus paid it all, all to you, Jesus. I owe sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. I thank you, Jesus, <laughs> for the forgiveness of our sins. That we would have a new life in you. You'd, you'd wash us by the Holy Spirit, the, by the washing of regeneration, renewal of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus, come in us, oh, Lord Jesus, as our risen Lord and Savior. We do thank you that you died in our place on the cross to take the penalty we deserve for our sins, death, separation from God, so that we would never have to be separated from God, but be forgiven of our sins because you died for our sins. You took the penalty of our sins when you were killed for us. And I thank you, Jesus, that you rose from the dead so that we can say, live in me, Jesus, as the God you are, the Lord who made me and created me to live with you and for you. And you created a special plan for each of us, Lord God, as your children, to serve you and you to be bound with us, yoked with us, joined with us to teach us to, how, to teach us how to serve you and to rejoice in you when we just praise and thank you for what you did for us and how you sustain us and you give us meaning and purpose in life to walk with you through everything and to fulfill your purpose for us to accomplish your purposes until that day that you have ordained, that you have set in place that we will be joined with you forever in your kingdom and, and reign with you in your kingdom, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. We thank you for that. We believe, Jesus, you died in our place and you rose from the dead. So live in us, Jesus, as our Lord. We turn away from our sins. Every day we need to turn away from our sins, Lord. You know, thank you for giving us forgiveness of our sins, that we can turn away from them, giving us power to overcome sin so that we can turn away from them and turn to you to follow you, Jesus, and you lead us in the right path in life to live victoriously with you and enjoy. We thank you and praise you, and we pray in your name, Jesus, our risen Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. I see 33, 31 seconds left for 15 minutes, and I could start going to Exodus. You could read there the story of Moses who was supposed to be killed by the enemy, but God preserved him <laughs> so that he could bring us through the Hebrew people, the Israelite people, he, that God could bring us himself to be born as Emmanuel, God with us, to be our Savior, the Savior from hell, and give us life with him eternal. So rejoice in the Lord always. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Smile. Jesus loves 
you. Amen. <laughs> Look at his beauty. God's beauty. And rejoice in him always. Amen.